Welcome to the Creative Society podcast with Alexei Prudkov. Hi, Dali. How are you? <laughs> so official. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, doing pretty well. You know, what a what a week it's been, right? So many news, so many groundbreaking news, and everyone's attention has been distracted by this media things one of the most probably surprising things that people did not notice because you know people noticing when something does happen but people not noticing when something isn't happening and you know there have been many speculations regarding how can scientists predict this or that i think those who have seen what has been presented on april 22nd they have the knowledge as to what's going to happen. It's not a crystal ball. It's not a exact second to second forecast, but it is a model that is working 100% of the time. But maybe we're getting too much into the details. Maybe we should have started from more broad look from a wider perspective, right? What has been most significant for you? Well, this was the event that a lot of thousands of people around the world were preparing for many months. Well, since the last forum from on November 12, 2022. Uh, this time, the forum that we've been announcing also as well on this podcast, Global Crisis, There is a Way Out. And the most significant part for me was the way out. I heard from many people and this was my experience as well. It seemed like we were living in this world, really, with all the beautiful films. I am not choosing this word by mistake, films, because these were feature films, not just some sort of videos, but we really showed what the life will be like in creative society and for me this was the most interesting part obviously we started as usual with what is happening with the planet with new findings new measurements new details and this part was much much more serious because the progression is not stopping it is accelerating and we've also shown what happened to Mars and that it wasn't sometime like millions of years ago, but really much, much closer. What is great is that this time I think we achieved this goal that we set for ourselves, really show the benefits, like visually show the benefits of living in creative society. And I think that we succeeded in this task what do you think well you know they say seeing is believing so it's one thing when we're talking about oh you're gonna have this that and then it's a different thing when people actually visualize when they see beautiful visuals of actually having this capsule of body regeneration in their home they can clearly have this picture or you know like uh replicator to me maybe not even the technological advancements also those are amazing but to me the part the film about self-governance the one where robert was presenting and in which you can see the short clips of young mother explaining to the daughter like the concept who's the president right now and mom says there is no president it's me making decisions she's like oh so you the president it's like well everyone is the president because everyone is executing decisions no one can abuse power but we all doing our best to sustain the society in the best possible way and that works and then you can see this young man just driving down the coast in his beautiful vehicle and he's receiving a message from his assistant from my assistant saying that hey there is this law that's gonna benefit all that's gonna you know make the prices so much cheaper because it's gonna provide the energy for free for your car for every house and like the downside is gonna be that some people might get unemployed in the area of you know, gas stations or fuel generations, electricity, whatever. But 
that's fine because they will be provided with universal and unconditional basic income. So then you can measure all cons and pros and you can make a wise decision. And in that way, our society will be interested in having educated people, you know, because today it's kind of opposite. Politicians get in this arrogant syndrome and they try to do their best to, mm, you know, make society obedient. But it's not, in most of the cases, it's not working for the benefit of the society itself. So this completely new approach is so fresh that people who, you know, only heard about it from a TikTok video, from 10 second clip, they cannot grasp. They're trying to compare it to something and we see these words, socialism, socialist, people are like living in fear people living in fear having very limited ability even when it comes to vocabulary and that's also the problem you know when we spoke to people regarding how do we talk about things ideally we're not even supposed to use the word climate change because something we talk about because that word is already already has been used and misused by the people like those who use in co2 agenda and who's talking about atmospherical co2 about 0.0.04 percent of uh, co2 in the atmosphere and as you clearly said even less anthropogenic but when we're speaking about the benefits of the creative society we even started developing our own vocabulary we don't say universal basic income we say an unconditional basic income because it doesn't matter if you work or you don't work you still get in this unconditionally and uh, you know like frederick mckinley the masonic leader said that we have to love each other unconditionally and the same way <laughs> the money <laughs> the money and the technologies and all the benefits they have to come to each person unconditionally and only in that case we can build a society where people really value those and people have to understand that we still have to give back to the society we have to like show our best to contribute or at least respect it respect the society res respect the laws that will be set by the society Otherwise, uh, the benefits can be temporarily or permanently lost as well. R rules still apply to the humanity. We'll still understand that even in the creative society, it's not going to be just like, you know, butterflies and unicorns everywhere, as uh, the character said in the feature in the short film. And uh, by the way, all those films that were presented, I feel like there are many film festivals and especially right now, there is going to be Cannes, the famous one. And I'm thinking how much time, like I have much respect for people who, who doing those. There is definitely idea behind of those, but seeing multiple short films, I always caught myself like how much efforts has been put to those with zero purpose. And when I'm seeing what has been shown at our 12 hour stream i'm like each one of these films could easily be the main film of a big film festival because it has meaning like it has life-changing meaning to it whether it's a film about self-governance or the health capsule or the film about the person who doesn't want to participate in social life, who's antisocial, who doesn't respect anyone and thinks that he knows everything. He got everything figured out better than anyone else. And, you know, we've, we've seen a lot of such people in comment section and there is no other way to put it. You're either misinformed or you must be an idiot. That's If you don't support creative society, that's that is the choice you must be an idiot and you know so many people are smart so many people smart people join in us so many smart people after this forum reached out and you know even people whom we spoke to a few years ago i remember familiar faces i'm seeing them i'm like where have you been and they're like i've been silently watching your forums conferences but after seeing this i cannot cannot be silent anymore some people reach out and say like that and it's amazing some people from canada be like we live in a city of 300 people like what should i do i have to get them on and you're like well people start grasping the idea because seeing is believing because this short films feature films 
they make a difference. They make a big, big difference. And uh, you participated in one of those. I, I wouldn't call it a film, but it was like, you know, the quality of production, the preparation, it feels like it was a film. So maybe you could d disclose more about that because many people said that it was the, their favorite part because, you know, we have participants, uh, well, people who joined recently the project and they say people always ask how is it possible to justify all these spendings how is the economy gonna work and when we explain well you know it it's gonna be a different economy that's kind of explains it but that's not a detailed answer people looking for and what uh, what you presented i know there is a huge work behind it of many many people many experts but could you tell us more about this film because it was one of the pinnacles of the of the forum in my opinion as well well yeah i mean this film was very important to many people and if people have watched the previous forums they also have seen me and christian presenting mm -hmm. the information about how the economics will work in the creative society and we still couldn't, you know, hit this sweet spot that we did this time with all the films during the forum, right? Where we merged the artistic, the creative ways to present information, but vital information, as you rightly said, that it has meaning. It's not only entertainment. It really conveys a lot of information, information in such a way that people started getting it and uh, like hopping on this train to, towards creative society. And this film, really, it was a work of a very big <laughs> number of people. A lot of people have worked on this video and um, the scenario, right? Because it is a presentation. For many months, people were thinking about different stuff. We were getting inputs, how this information is perceived, and we were working on it. And the day before the shooting of this whole presentation, we started to rewriting it from scratch. <laughs> so, so we had to rewrite everything. And I just wanted to highlight how things work because we understood that the information was there, right? It's not, well, maybe I, we did not start from scratch. We already had all the information, but we had to restructure it so it it is easier to understand. It is more engaging for people to watch. And so, okay, we started rewriting and we did it till like one o'clock in the morning. Then we need to translate because we, we worked in different languages, right? And we, we had to restructure everything we needed to translate. And then I'm saying, okay, so the shooting is in the morning. Like I have to wake up at six something, it's one o'clock. So I'm writing to our team of interpreters, guys, I need your help. And so I translated like one part and they took the rest. And in the morning when everyone came, you know, we had, I think we had 12 people on the set. We had also a help of a, a studio where we did this presentation, the guys, the learned about creative society and uh, their ceo came uh, to have a short talk with us as well it's really really interesting you know how things are working but people from many parts we were filming in vienna and a lot of people came there just for filming and it is such a great teamwork because you know even some people had like were the, their responsibility was to make sure that everyone has enough food, water, teas, coffees, and stuff like that. Every part, every bit is important. But how it came together then, because then we had to render everything, you know, there were six cameras running these days, this day. <laughs> so yeah, it was really, really interesting and different challenges that had to be, you know, uh, how to how to record everything how to put everything together we had an amazing amazing team like tens of people you know just working on the presentation that was behind me and when you see the end result you say wow this is really this is incredibly cool and uh, but this was 
Actually, you know, this was the impression after watching every single piece that was presented at the forum. This time, the quality of production, uh, the, the film, I think, that you were mentioning, uh, the idiot, right? When I first saw the pre-production version, I said, wow, like this looks a lot like you wouldn't tell that this wasn't done in Hollywood or somewhere else where people are filming like films that we are used to watch at the movie theaters. We need to tell that all of this was done by volunteers in their spare time. I mean, maybe for some people, the spare time that uh, we are spending on Creative Society has become much more important than what we are doing for our work life let's say it like this but i mean don't even have the words to describe this spirit of unity and what can be achieved when everyone has a goal a clear goal of what we want to do we want to do the best for humanity it's not for ourselves we don't get any money paid for this and everything is done in such a way so that people understand how things will work in the creative society what benefits each person will have and this is very very joyful and heartwarming to see that the results are actually coming in and the efforts are paying off you know the efforts always pay off it's never at the moment when we expect because you know each person's consciousness wants the results right away so we're like okay we did it we did it what was next where, where is the feedback you know, we presented things that were unthinkable for humanity even six months ago no one could imagine that life could be different and there you are you can see this i wouldn't say it's a different reality but it's like it's as you said at the very end of the forum the very good quote this forum is that point that can help us to turn the world back from <laughs> from upside down into the correct <laughs> standing position where you can stand firmly on two legs and uh, feel like a human being because you know you know, wh why do we call it consumerist format today because it's consuming us it's consuming our thoughts it's consuming our time it's consuming our energy it's consuming our attention with the uh, negative thoughts fears how do i pay my loan how do i survive how do i treat my body how do i buy food without like you know poisoning myself into getting more disease how 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 it's always fear how do i keep my job with this crisis how do i make sure my 401k doesn't go to trash because it's garbage all the investments going down how do i know my investments not gonna collapse tomorrow when the whole economy is going down and cryptocurrencies are failing and all these uh, stock markets and everything goes down it's insane some people say that you know humans are the only species that have to pay rent for living on this planet and like we got so used to this consumer's format that w we even be like stockholm syndrome hostages who say well yeah what's wrong with it <laughs> everything is wrong with it <laughs> everything is wrong nothing is nothing is working in here we have we empowering psychopaths with nuclear weapons we we expect some egocentric egomaniacs to solve our problems nothing is fine with this and there you go you have few people you have this group of people who really offer an alternative and i believe this is right for the humanity there has to be a choice between good and evil and for so much time there was no no vision of how can we make it different you know when we saw those lines that eight pillars of the creative society they sound beautiful but what a long path it takes from just it being a declaration into actually sparking this fire inside of the people and to spark that fire you have to give them visuals you have to give them understanding that the whole science is there that that there is understanding you know how much interconnected the climate crisis that very energy that penetrates our planet it goes 
clearly through all the layers like neutrinos go through our bodies it's a it's a huge flow of billions of particles through our bodies which look very firm to us it's a it's a very solid hand right here if i hit it against the table it's gonna hurt but for neutrinos it doesn't matter and the very same way those huge waves of energy of particles of energy penetrate in our planet but hit in our core they they cannot go through the core because it's a highly dense material over there it's like a neutrino star super super tight thing that those energy flows cannot go through and therefore this tremendous amount of uh, energy is being created around our core that's hitting up our planet and you know it's going with this huge flows of magma that are going up and there they meet in the counter flows of colder magma i wouldn't call that cold because each one of us know how hot magma is but it's you know imagine the temperature is right there there are different kinds of magma and when they meet in meeting up in those points explosions appear and then our scientists they started registering these explosions which were impossible 10 years ago they started registering them calling them deep focused earthquakes our science team explained that those are nuclear explosions and uh, you know all the manipulations with forecasting earthquakes that were so popular on twitter after the turkey and syria earthquake they have to stop there because each person who sees the forum and when Elizaveta says there were 260 earthquakes in 2021, deep focus earthquakes, and 190 were under the Anatolian plate, right where the earthquake happened a, within a year. So you see that most of the earthquakes, deep focused, were focused there. Now this is something that's clearly a sign. If something is happening in that area that ricochets to this plate eventually it's gonna collapse and this is only the beginning like it, it shows you patterns it shows you a clear understanding of what is happening and then you see oh that's the very same particles that contain energy using which we can manipulate with this energy so it's not only you know destructive energy it's just an energy just as any other energy it's like electricity just don't put your fingers in your electricity outlet and you're gonna be fine <laughs> you're gonna be fine same thing here don't allow this energy to penetrate our planet use it to build things use it to build things through replicators to fill out our cartridges to build things that's gonna benefit our humanity and uh, you know from me myself being a very little kid i remember going to the planetarium for the first time when you sit in there and you see our planet and you know you think your neighborhood is quite big and the other side of your home city is like so far away the distances you're like wow that's huge you're checking the map you like different continents it's incredibly far and then you sit in in the planetarium and the camera zooms out from the planet and you're like whoa the sun is huge it's actually 1.3 million bigger than Earth. Wow, you can fit million three hundred thousand Earths in in the sun, and then it zooms out, and the sun is not that big, and the whole galaxy is not that big, and the whole Milky Way is huge, but comparing to other galaxies and stars, it's not that big. And thinking that our purpose in this universe is to pay taxes is so stupid, like. Is this life we, we want to live? Is this really what we want to live? Live here to pay taxes and to, you know, to, to get good credit scores and to, to pay off the car loan? This makes no sense, guys. This, this is the something that we should evolve from. And, you know, we really might be five years away from an economy in which we won't need money at all because things can be created from elementary particles if we want. But for those five years, what the economic team presented at this forum, it shows that there is no problem to build economy which benefits the people. And, you know, I love this question. How is the money going to be created? Where are you going to take the money? How is the money going to be created? Same as today. 
it's just a zero and one double double digits on the screen it's nothing more than that it's not about how they've been created it's about how they've been used and it's incredible we have everything but the request from people to use it the right way and uh, you know the days before the forum we met randall carlson in in atlanta georgia we went we met him live Pr prior to that we, we met him online and you know speaking to him he said very interesting thing he said my goal was always to become one of the most intelligent people of my generation and he clearly succeeded at that but you see how happy he is that there is a group of people that came to the very same conclusion that he did and when he says you know there are some people that believe that atlantis was in the in africa and they are so wrong that rashad structure i'm like of course it's in the azori islands there is no way it, it was anywhere else we have so much evidence and you see how much he sparks he's like of course you came to the very same conclusions and you know because it makes sense because it makes sense and the this part was not the part of the forum the, it, it's been disclosed before about atlantis and everything but the the fact that it makes sense it makes sense for everyone who who is open-minded enough to simply watch it to verify it it's incredible if you know when we started it a few years ago i never had any doubts that creative society is happening but right now i don't see how it's not happening after everything we presented because like you must be an idiot <laughs> not to support it and i don't think there are so many idiots really out there except for the comment section when you look in the comment section sometimes you think yeah like but then you realize those people even those people don't behave like that in the real life you know it's some some kind of some kind of an illusion some kind of an, an illusion that that we have to step over and i believe this forum has been a huge step in the direction of creating it and when it comes to the view you know we did, we opened up a new platform rumble on which we had record breaking numbers we've never had so many people joining us in live stream on rumble even on youtube youtube well you know right now i'm even feeling like youtube is competing with rumble they like rumble gave such a good numbers for the viewers maybe we should pull up this stream as well because week after week after the forum the stream on youtube in english is picking up pretty much the same numbers as rumble so that's very that's a very good sign that people people know watching it people sharing it and you know this is it this is the forum we are really proud of and maybe the most shocking part for many even our participants was the last film that was presented by you the scientific field maybe film maybe you could tell us a little more about that because it was a huge surprise for many yes indeed and i just wanted to mention that this was also something that we wanted to keep for the last keeping the best for the for the last right and if before what we were presenting during all the forums and it was i mean in terms of meta replicators and health capsules and manipulating matter in general this was perceived as something very far away, some sort of science fiction without any underlying proof of concept, right? This time we were presenting a scientific theory, a theory of everything, if we can say, because this is something that many scientists all around the world have been trying to achieve during the the existence of humanity, like a theory that explains everything. And well, this one was a very big surprise and a big gift to humanity, a gift that explains exactly how we are going to make matter replicators, health capsules, how we are going to manipulate matter to do everything we need to achieve the best possible life for every human being and this was really really 
interesting. It was really interesting to work in this team. It was an honor and a privilege to be part of this team that was preparing this information for the forum and for everyone living on this planet. And uh, I mean, it was a really small team that actually did the research, <laughs> but it, it was a big, big team that created this film because first we were given 20 minutes to present this information. But the more we were digging in, the more details we were getting. And it came out to be a one hour film. <laughs> this is this is very interesting. And obviously we would like to encourage everyone to watch it. Go watch the forum everywhere. YouTube, Rumble, Facebook, Twitter, everywhere. We're streaming everywhere. We will put obviously the links to everything. And there is there, I think there are already chapters, chapter markers on the forum. The main point, the main point for me was that this time everything suddenly becomes real. And there was also a demonstration of another technology that was mentioned and present during the past civilization cycles, the eye of God that sees every person on the planet, no matter how high in the air or how deep underwater or on the ground the person is, it shows the mental state of the person. And this is just a prototype, but it will also show the health status of the person. So we will be able to use this to save people's lives. This is very important. It's not only about having an ID of everyone. An idea that you cannot change, you don't need to carry with you, you don't need to have the wallets. So this, this, you know, everything ties in together. I mean, we were talking during the presentation on economics that we have so many things, how we can identify a person by a retinal scan or a fingerprint. But even better than that, uh, there is uh, this technology that uh, we can use to identify people. And no matter what happens to your physical let's say image but most importantly this gives us the keys on how to counteract what is happening with the climate this is the most important part for now i think that for everyone who is studying these fields right physics the quantum physics we were talking about the let's say pre-quantum states of matter the that everything is energy and the theory of waves i invite everyone to watch this whole presentation and every sensible scientist who really is who wants to do good for humanity they can take this information and study further we are not as we said during the presentation we don't have enough knowledge to move this forward okay we were just gathering the information because this uh, theory was presented to us and we were looking for confirmations in artifacts in different sources of information and we have found a lot that ancients knew about how matter is created how they were passing down this information to us how they could because for them it was you know everyday life they did not even think that such an important information could be forgotten so for people who are interested in these kind of things and i know that there are a lot because a lot of people were following different let's say currents of science that was trying to explain but they never came even close to explaining the phenomena that are happening on the already at the quantum level and this theory goes beyond this explains how matter is created and everything in between like what we see around us what we don't see very very interesting but let me repeat this once again this gives us the key the keys to counteract the cosmic radiation that is hitting our planet and destabilizing our core and this is the most important for now i think it's not only hope this is a real way out so this is the real way out but this can this information obviously 
was presented already now, understanding that in the consumerist format of society, it can be used to enslave even more people, to destroy people. But given the circumstances and the current state of our planet, we understood that now is the time. Now is the time to release this information and we'll see where it goes. There has to be some time frame to develop these technologies, even in the consumer's format. And by the time somebody obtains this kind of technology, we either going to be in a creative society or we're going to be, you know, eating the consequences of inaction and experiencing the climate Cerberus at the full scale by then. So it's like eight to 10 years from now. So 2032. It's not going to be pretty without the creative society. That's one thing I can tell. And therefore, there is no problem with presenting this information right now. And if you think about it that way, it, it is the very exact time frame where it has to be presented. If within next two years, we start really uniting scientists and building the creative society, then by early 2030s, we might end up with all the necessary technologies to you know get through this cycle and survive survive not to become second atlantis and not to be you know second mars but there is also such an interesting thing that if nothing is going to be done within the next years two three years from now we see that people still not going to be encouraged to build a creative society in that case the time is ticking and in that case there will be no time to actually implement these technologies. So it's very interesting. We live in a very interesting time. And, you know, as a civilization, we can make a leap or, you know, we can, we can, <laughs> I don't even want to talk about the consequences of our inaction. It would be just really, really stupid not to use this chance right now when we have everything. We even have smart people working in, Companies like YouTube, where despite all the agenda, all this progressive ultra leftist agenda, where for one wrong word about climate change, your channel gets erased, even there, there are decent people who uh, grasp the idea of the creative society and restore the channels of the Spanish speaking community, which is incredible. That's amazing. That's tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands, of people who were informed thanks to that. We're seeing that afterwards we're also like the whole movement is picking up interest from politicians, from journalists. It's very interesting. At the very same time, we are seeing that why this project is not going as viral as it should, because there is no there is no dirt. You know, dirt is attracting people. If we would be trash and W E F and Schwab twenty four seven like some others do probably we would be much higher in ratings. If we would be speaking political things, probably yes. If we would be discussing each other's dirty laundry, probably we would be higher in ratings. But what's different about this, that we making it the way that it's supposed to be done. We present in the way out the things, how they're supposed to be. It's very interesting that you're saying it's the way out on technological level, on cultural level, on people's level, on self-governance level, on climate level, on each level. There is a way out, and the way out is holistic. It's it's in unifying our efforts. Way out cannot be in dictatorship. Way out cannot be in one world government. Way out cannot be in the concentration of power, because there is a very good saying that concentration of power dictatorship comes from concentration of power and freedom from distribution and for the first time in human history we can distribute the power equally to the point where it's being eliminated if everyone has equal amount of power then nobody has power but everyone has power that's a paradox and at the very same time it doesn't mean that we are equal equal in the materialistic sense because somebody's working they get more somebody makes more contribution for the society they make more wealth that's absolutely fine so a truly amazing time where 
politicians in the most advanced country in the world actively saying that they stand for creative society. This kind of statements gaining millions of views on uh, social media networks and all the media is silent as if they don't see it which is very strange like how would you not see something like this happening because you know i'm seeing them posting news on buzzfeed and other networks and even bigger ones that some famous blogger with hundred thousand subscribers their channel got deleted because of some drama with their boyfriends, girlfriends, whatever. Excuse me? 2.5 million subscribers channel was deleted and no one noticed when Alien Soul 28 channel got deleted. Nobody noticed that. We have a politician running for president standing for creative society saying things that taboo has been lifted by Andrew Yang who promised to thousand dollars a month ubi to everyone and now everybody thinking if that was too much how is this possible and thanks to the forum we know exactly how it's possible on the global scale it's possible on an absolutely new level level of human responsibility it's not gonna happen without us and you know when we're speaking about that how much groundbreaking it is the idea of people self-organizing grassroots and creating coordination centers where they are you want to make this change but you're only one person okay you can find second person among your circle of friends for sure it's very easy to find another person and then there are two of you okay what can you do two of you you can get together and think what will be the most efficient and effective way to notify community we can print stickers on cars we can give away booklets we can go to the local store and put some kind of ad over there just speak to the owner and explain the idea of the creative society in a very short period of time there will be five of us and then in one month 10 and then there will be 50. this is how it works and it's amazing that we have all these people joining uniting and calling us sending messages how can i organize a coordination center this is really really amazing because even in our city so many people we had participants who printed a lot of those paper invitations to the forum and then the forum passed but i came back to los angeles and i was like let me grab those there were about 500 of them i just went around my neighborhood door to door speaking to my neighbors about creative society about the forum saying this is the way out climate cell governance economy no taxation this is it and they were so happy like first of all i met so many cool people around my neighborhood they were like they were really really nice people that i've never met in my life and second of all i was informing them about the most important thing in life about the thing that's gonna save their life and my life and everyone's life and you know the feeling of happiness that i was receiving while doing this was tremendous it was super super happy thing and that was collaboration because one person ordered those paper invitations handed to me somebody worked on design there was another person who probably came up with the idea of putting qr codes and created those and there i am just walking around my neighborhood just speaking to people and you know the best thing was actually communication with people because they were asking questions and they were sincerely trying to understand what is it that i'm talking about is it how about harp how about like governments 5g towers people have weird questions they have a lot of stuff in their heads and i'm like okay that's i understand chemtrails all this crazy stuff okay okay calm down calm down <laughs> you, here's something that's gonna give you perspective here's something that's gonna give you a picture because people are not stupid but people are misinformed and underinformed and this is that structure knowing which you can find the place for your favorite pieces of information somewhere within it and some of them you can just give up you know but people asking is the earth still flat i don't know but if the earth is flat is the core flat i don't know you tell me but the core is there and it's it's making it's making some stuff so you better believe there is core 
<laughs> because you're gonna feel consequences of the core it doesn't matter if it's flat or not let's just start informing each other you know it doesn't matter what shape it is if we're not gonna form self-governing society let's concentrate on things we can do like organizing coordination centers and taking actions locally uh, because when when they say think globally but act locally to me it always sounded like a nice phrase oh yeah that sounds cool but now i see what it actually means we're thinking globally but we organize in coordination centers locally and that's what it is that that's how you make all of these beautiful ideas come true this is incredible yeah and you had this experience that a lot of nice interesting people live around you what are the chances that every one of us has nice and beautiful people living around them i think about the same right and uh, this is the thing that uh, we've been told that everyone around us is an enemy that they're not like you they want different things that everyone has to live their own life and it is true to some extent that yes people have to live their own lives but we all aspire to the same things at least basic things and this is what we've been talking for many years already about providing the necessary the best possible education healthcare housing and everything right so when you start talking about these things with people only idiots as we showed in the forum only idiots don't want these things why wouldn't you and i think that this is the most important thing that we want people to take away once you start talking around you explaining people but explaining with examples on of what matters to them the most for example people say oh but will there will be mass surveillance or manipulating climate well it's not about surveilling people we can uh, turn this thing around and this is what we've been talking with the eye of god it's not about surveilling where you go and what you do but it's surveilling that everything is all right with you that if you go hiking somewhere in the remote part and you fall and uh, you experience pain then these technologies will be able to immediately alert the uh, rescue services and uh, even make your pain go away remotely and this is the m very interesting as well we talked about this in this forum as well so for everyone who is interested in learning how our lives will be better or if we choose creative society please go and watch the forum split it in parts watch it all in one go as you please but please go watch it and come back to us tell us what you think tell us what you think about the information that was presented there what shook you the most what was the most joyful part and we can discuss more of these in details just let us know what you want to hear from us next time 